Hello everybody, Will with Duluth News down here. We are down right now at the Graceland Plaza, downtown Duluth, Minnesota, with a standoff. Man has barricaded himself in, seems to be mental illness. SWAT is on the scene, along with other officers and Mayo Clinic ambulance. Uh, up on the eighth floor, SWAT has cleared out surrounding um, apartments. I uh, evacuated a couple floors. The guy is armed with a edged weapon. Um, not quite sure what exactly the edged weapon is at this time. That is all the information that we know. <clears throat> In an email, I was told by Maddie that there was behavioral health unit along with a social worker and a registered nurse, unsure of how many officers responded to, to the call. I had a whole team of them go in uh, about 20, 30 minutes ago, maybe. Okay. So. How long have you been here? Uh, whenever the tweet went out, we got sent right over. Oh, okay. There's a, There's a standoff. Police standoff. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. Not sure cars. what floor. There's been a couple cars that have cleared out, so I'm not 100% sure. We might be getting things under control. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we, don't, we don't know anything other than it's a standoff. I can't deliver my packages. We did see someone go in there yeah. with some packages. <laughs> so. <laughs> You don't get them today. <laughs> yeah, it said armed with an edged weapon, so for what it's worth, I don't think it's a firearm, but I don't want to tell you that and then that'd be wrong. So. Yeah, no, that's all right. I just assume that I'm off it's going to be busy and it's not real. Yeah, yeah. And SWAT has me to the front of the building now. Oh yeah. Which floor? What floor? Somebody has himself barricaded in an apartment. What floor? Well, he's having a mental health crisis. Do you know what
Okay. So you do? Okay, sounds good. I'm Will with Duluth News Now. Nice to meet you. I'm Maddie. I think we've talked before. Probably, yo. Yeah, with uh, Minnesota News Now. Okay. We wanted to have the yep. meeting with the chief, but I then he that. changed his mind or something. Okay. I don't, yeah. Do you need anything from me? I sent out an Do you need anything from me? No, I'll, okay. I'll read the update. Thank you. Yep. process that goes on when something like this occurs yeah when something like this occurs we make sure that the surrounding apartments are evacuated so the safety of everybody is able to happen and then we start negotiating with this individual get him on the phone start making that contact building that rapport and that relationship and just tell him that we just want him to get the help that he wants that he deserves how grateful are you that it ended the way that it did yeah it ended i mean we negotiated for a couple hours four plus hours and we just had him on the phone, had his family members talk to him, and just get him out to come out peacefully. And then now he's getting the help that he deserves. Do you 
he go into an apartment then, or how would happen? Yep, he there? was in an apartment building. Okay, and he could just like barge his way into there? Or? That's still under investigation, I don't know the details of that. Okay, alright. Uh, let's see, Maddie, what am I missing? Anything that you want to make sure that we, we know I think about? the most important part right now is that we got, we're able to get this individual the help that he needed, and that he's on his way to the hospital. Perfect. That's all I got. Perfect. Thank you so much, Maddie. Thank you.